Hi guys, it's Luna here. Welcome to this Destiny 2 news update video. The first of many, hopefully. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the new information about the game's possible release date that was just leaked just a few hours ago. So let's just jump into this. A few hours ago, a couple of images started to appear on Reddit and other social media sites, apparently showing all of the release dates of Destiny 2 later this year. From a promotional poster taken from an Italian GameStop, it was confirmed that the GameStop did officially receive their Destiny marketing materials today, so the timeline definitely fits. According to these images, the hotly anticipated sequel to Bungie's Shared World Shooter will drop on September the 8th this year, which puts it around the same time the month of Mayhem Strikes wrap up for the upcoming Destiny Age of Triumph event. GameStop also posted up what looks like some official Destiny 2 artwork, showing off the same poster. So there we have it, it all seems pretty legit and many media outlets have been reporting the story already. Nothing from Bungie yet though, but if they are fake then the fakes are really well made. If the images are legit then there are some other things we can get from them. It also confirms something that many of us have been wondering about it and that is an early PlayStation beta that might be dropping this summer. It's unclear whether though that these images show the date of the beta or whether that's the actual release date for the game. The 8th of September is a Friday, an unusual day for a release date, but the poster is in Italian so maybe the release dates are different from that say of the US, as Friday is a common day to release games in Europe. Battlefield 1, remember, the standard edition did drop on a Friday, so it's not impossible. One final thing to note from the leaks is that the poster itself that shows three human guardians without their helmets, with no Exo or Awoken to be found. As we know, Destiny characters only rarely appear without their helmets in game and pretty much never show up in promotional materials, so that might be a new direction for the game's story, we will have to wait and see. Some people suggest it's the three guardians you see in the original Destiny live action trailer, which you can see in the background. But the warlock was female in that, and the hunter male. In the trailer, it's reversed. So things are still a little bit uncertain, but lots of interesting theories are going around now with the release of this poster. So what do you guys think? Is it real? Is it fake? It seems pretty legit to me, and it's a big blow to Bungie ahead of their E3 announcement of the game's release date. But it's good news for fans, if true, as we can start counting down the days to release. Also, let me know what you think of the PS4 exclusive stuff. Is that something you have a problem with or not? Given that the last game was for Xbox One. Anyway, I want to thank all of you guys for watching this quick Destiny 2 news update video. I'll be back again soon with more Destiny 2 news as soon as we have more. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases, click on the subscribe button on screen if you haven't done so yet, or click the link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content, including news and guides every single day. Turn on notifications, a little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more information. But with all that being said guys until next time stay awesome and i will see you all in the next video